Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a speed ramp using the time remapping tool in Adobe Premiere Elements. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film unboxing videos of cool new gear that I get for filmmaking and photography. If I ever go someplace cool, I'm definitely going to film a vlog about it. If I have any DIY projects around the house, smart home stuff and assembling IKEA furniture, I film those too. And of course, if I ever learn something new in Adobe Premiere Elements, I'm definitely going to film a tutorial and post that here too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and smash that subscribe button. So let's head on into the program and I'll show you how to add some speed ramp to your videos. So once you have Adobe Premiere Elements open, the first step is to head to the top left hand corner and click on Add Media. Once you've selected the files that you want to work with, they should show up in the Project Assets, which is also in the top left hand corner. So we have a few clips here that we took with a DJI Mavic drone, so we're going to use these for our example. So you want to drag your clip and you want to place it down on the timeline. Now speed ramps can be used in a couple different ways. Basically what a speed ramp is, is going from slow motion to regular motion or regular motion to fast motion or fast motion to slow motion. Basically anytime you're changing motion. So when you're changing the motion in your clip, you don't want it to be abrupt. You want a ramp to be added. So to give you an example, if I wanted this clip to start off in regular motion, but then speed up to the end and then slow down again, I can do that with a couple cuts to the clip, but what's gonna happen is they're gonna be very abrupt. So I'll give you an example of what that would look like. If I cut the clip here and change the speed by heading to clip, time stretch, and let's just go all the way to a thousand here. So I've changed it to go really quickly, hit render, let this render up quick here and I'll play this back. So you can see it starts off slow and then it's really quick. Now that's something you don't want because it's not pleasing to the eye. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a speed ramp and I'll show you how that now becomes pleasing to your eye as opposed to a quick cut. So you want to head over to the left hand side here and the second icon down is uh, tools and then you want to click on time remapping. So you can see it's brought up our clip here. The first thing you want to do is click add time zone in the bottom left hand corner and in our case we said we wanted to start off slow and then go fast. So we're going to select the end of our clip but we're going to leave the beginning of our clip alone. Okay so we want the beginning of the clip to be regular speed. So this highlighted portion here, we're going to go down and we're going to click on extremely fast. So that's going to make it three seconds, basically what we had before when we did a thousand percent. Now what you want to pay attention here is this is your speed ramp. They call it easing. So you want to ease in and we want to ease out so that when we go to our next frame or our next clip that it's not super fast to super slow either. So by easing in and out, you are adding a ramp to the clip that you're changing the speed of, hence speed ramp. So we'll click on done. Let this render up quick here. So there you have it, starting off slow and then going super fast and then slowing down again. So you can see that looks much better than the before clip. So I'll let you have a look at the difference now. Hit render. So this was doing a cut and changing to a thousand percent and this is with a speed ramp or easing in and easing out. So you can see that makes a big difference in the way that the film looks by using the tool called time remapping and clicking on the ease in and ease out buttons. 
So I hope I helped you learn an easy way to add some detail to your videos using the time remapping tool in Adobe Premiere Elements. If you like this video, make sure you head down below, hit that like button, it really makes a difference. If you wanna see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.